Hi there, welcome to Pixeliscope. In today's topic, I am going to discuss about the Krita Assistant tool. I think this is the coolest tool of Krita. And I'll show you why. At first, I'll show you the several tools that comes under the Krita Assistant tool. And then I'll show you how you can combine them together and draw a 2 point, 3 point perspective, even a fish eye lens effect. So without further ado, let's get started. I have opened up Krita and this is my Krita assistant tool. This is actually a painting guide and you have to combine Krita assistant tool and brush to get to the get the result. And the basic structure of the combination is, is same for everything. You just put the um, assistant tool here and then go to brush and then uh, click on assistant. And now, however you put the stroke, it will always follow the assistant, the guide. And you can change the amount uh, to how much extent uh, it follows by simply moving this slider. So I am now cross hatching, but it still follows to a certain amount. I am not able, able to cross hatch to, uh, to my wish. So I, am, I will do the same hatching and I will increase the amount of following. As you can see, I am doing the same thing but it follows to a more extent. So this is the basic thing for everything. So I am sliding it up to 1000 and then I am going to the assistant tool and I can delete this by just clicking that. And the assistant tool does not respond to control Z or undo, keep in mind. Let's start exploring the various kinds of assistant tools. So in the tool option, if we can click on the ruler, we can see that there are several kinds of them. So I'll start with the ruler. The ruler helps us draw a single line and in, it, the line doesn't extend uh, in the, of the boundary of the line, of the limit of the line. So all you have to do is click anywhere in the canvas, even outside the canvas, I can click here. And then I am getting the preview of where the line will be placed and I have to click again to confirm so I am clicking here and this is confirmed I can move this guide anywhere I like and I can delete this guide by clicking this so I can draw a second ruler by just following the same procedure as previously told I can disable the visibility of this by clicking this and now I'm going to the brush menu and I, my assistant is already ticked. So if I try to draw, it will draw until this very point. So this is the limit of the ruler. And that is uh, the thing about the ruler, it doesn't extend. So how we can extend the line and but keeping the, that the same straight line. So all you have to do is go to infinite ruler and it will do the same for you. This is same as ruler but notice you have a line and it depicts that you don't limit yourself to the boundary of the ruler. You can even change the ruler and so you can do with the previous ruler also you can rotate this and now you can go to the brush menu and notice it extend the limit of the ruler the limit of the ruler was here and it extends the limit of the ruler and goes on so this is infinite ruler we have another ruler that is the parallel ruler as the name suggests the parallel ruler will help us draw lines parallel to this ruler only so if we go to the brush menu, so notice that my brush has a different kind of thing and this is the line which um, which make, uh, make, make me understand that this is the ruler that this is following. So notice that the, all the lines are parallel. So if I go to this ruler then it will follow this ruler and even this ruler also.
your stroke will make this possible but once it uh, start following the one ruler it will not go to different kind of assistant same goes for here so we have uh, learned three kinds of ruler today so how we can delete all of them we have this delete all now i'll show you how you can combine two parallel rulers together and uh, make something useful like a really basic cityscape background cityscape to be specific and i'll be needing two parallel rulers for that one will be vertical and another will be horizontal so i'll start by putting a vertical line here but uh, how can i tell that this is perfectly vertical because it is not and there's a trick you go to the edge of this um, canvas and you start putting here and it will be snapped to this canvas and that will be your perfect vertical so i am deleting this and then i'll be needing a horizontal too so i'll follow the same thing and it will snap the snap to the card shape and now i can go to my brush tool and i'll have to press the assistant and there you go now that we are in the brush tool we can start drawing so at first i'll adjust my brush and my assistant is already ticked so this uh, assistant will be get picked but i have uh, simultaneously two assistant here so how i can decide that which assistant will be picked and here's the trick that will be decided based on your initial stroke so if you start drawing horizontally the horizontal assistant will be get picked and if you start drawing vertically the vertical one will be get picked and it will be picked until you lift your pen or you release the click of your mouse so i am starting and notice that if however i am drawing this vertically but the vertical assistant is not getting picked and it will be picked if i release the pen so i have released the pen and it will be picked based on the previous scene if i start drawing vertically the vertical one will be get picked until the pen is released so notice the same it and it is not going to the vertical direction so i will start i i will draw a simple cityscape using this and notice this is really really easy by following this this type of uh, assistance so this is really basic and you can draw anything and you can uh, combine any amount of uh, assistant this uh, parallel assistant and start your drawing so this is really simple and effective as well so this was done in about what uh, less than 1 minute so i think this is really cool and it doesn't stop here it has a various kinds of assistant and you can combine various kind of kinds of assistant too so then you will be able to draw fish eye and two point and three point perspective and i'll show you in later videos so my creativity stops here but you explore this assistant and get amazed so this was the first part of the krita assistant tool tutorials if you found this video helpful please give me a like and share it with your friends also give me feedbacks in the comment section and if you are new to this channel please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any new uploads from this channel so that's it for today guys I'll see you soon.